folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. We had another large coronal EMAS ejection, an X3.3 yesterday from Sunspot AR3869. I have talked about how these coronal mass ejections can cause earthquakes, affects people health, um, our weather. Yeah, you don't realize how it can affect your health. Yesterday I noticed that my ears were ringing really loud and I feared we were probably having another um, X flare. NOAA forecasters are predicting a G1 class geomagnetic storm tomorrow, October 26, when that CME is expected to graze Earth's magnetic field. The CME was hurled into space yesterday by a powerful solar flare, an X3.3, from Sunspot AR3869. It is not heading straight for our planet, but even a glancing blow from this potent CME could spark bright auroras at high latitudes. Let me show you the area where this sunspot came from. It's just now coming around uh, the western side of the solar disk. Yeah, so is this an indication of what it's going to be doing later down the road? Boy, I hope not. Sunspot area 3869, right there. Upon hitting our planet, CMEs can cause major disruptions in the Earth's magnetic field, known as the geomagnetic storms, resulting in technological malfunctions and widespread auroras. NOAA measures geomagnetic storms on a scale of 1 to 5, with G1 storms considered mild and G5 storms dubbed extreme. So they're saying that tomorrow we're going to be experiencing a G1 class geomagnetic storm. I'll give you a link to this page. You may find it interesting. But on this day in history, it shows solar flares. Um, an X3 0.5 2013, also an X 2.49. Also, then in 2001, there was an X197. In 2014, an X1.5. And then they also have posted here a M4.29 in 2013. I'll give you a link to this video. It shows the solar flare coming from the western side of the solar disk, and I'll play it for you. Look at that. I thought that was real interesting that at this same time, yeah, um, back in 2013, they had a solar flare from practically the same location. They gave it a different uh, sunspot number back then. So here you can see um, they had an X3.5 on October 25th. This is a page of uh, the most uh, significant sunspots for 2013. You can go through it. I'll give you a link to this. I thought it was interesting. And on this date also, October 25th, there was an X2.49 uh, sunspot region 1882. And it gives its time of the sunspot. So we had two, a 3.05 and a 2.49. Um, that one, first one was at 15.03. And then the second one was at 8.01. Here's the one that it occurred on October 25th, 2001. An X1.97. And then we have uh, October 25th, 2014. That was a X1.49. They also give the degree of the uh, geomagnetic storm. Uh, the first one, a 3.05, was a G3. And the other one, a 2.49, was a G4. So it's probably more of an Earth-directed one. Yeah, this time, um, this date in 2013 was really active. Here you can see the uh, X2.49. Um, that was significant upon the Earth. And then we got the uh, 
x3.0. I wonder why that one wasn't as significant. So I thought that was interesting. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.